Hello, this is Robbie Myers with Physical Science Module 2 Air Experiment 2.2 Oxygen and Fire. <clears throat> Everyone knows that fire needs oxygen to burn. If you run out of oxygen, there is no fire. What happens if there is more oxygen than usual, however? For this experiment, you need a jar with a candle in it. As shown, the jar should be airtight. Otherwise, it won't really work very well. Uh, a lighter, um, hydrogen peroxide, uh, yeast, um, a bottle about two cups full of hydrogen peroxide. That's what the hydrogen peroxide was for. A teaspoon and a balloon. Now, you take the cap off of the bottle. This part requires a lot of speed. Take a teaspoon of yeast and put it into the bottle. And then, after that, as quick as possible, you'll want to slip the balloon over the mouth of the bottle so it forms an airtight seal. You want to do it as quick as possible. Now make sure that the seal is airtight so that no air can get out and shake the bottle gently. Watch the balloon inflate like a, a, a puffer fish. Yeah. So, <coughs> now while you let it inflate on its own, grab the um, lighter and lift the jar and light the candle. And then make sure it's lit and then put the jar over the candle and let the candle die out so that it's well dead the candle doesn't want to die yet it's dying slowly it's almost dead Okay, it's dead. Now, raise the jar and light the candle again. <coughs> um, after you make sure that there's no smoke. Yeah. So light the candle again and then put the jar over it again. Grab the balloon, making sure that you keep the neck pinched off. Oh man, the fire just kind of died on me. Okay, I'll have to relight it. So now put the jar down and hold the balloon ready. And slowly let a the air from the balloon into the jar. Slowly. It could get dangerous if you don't. Notice now that the candle is burning brighter than ever, even when it wasn't under the jar. This is because of the hydrogen peroxide and the um, hydrogen gas that's in the balloon. What happened in the experiment? <clears throat> well, the first part is easy to understand. In fact, you've pro we've probably done that part of the experiment before. When you covered the burning candle with the jar, the candle ran out of oxygen and burned out. It got dimmer and dimmer and went out. This is because it used up the oxygen in the air surrounding it and as <clears throat> and because there's no source of oxygen to replenish that which is used up, the candle burnt out. What about the second part of the experiment, however? When you when we added oxygen from the balloon, the candle actually burned a lot brighter, didn't it? That's because the speed at which fire burns depends directly on the concentration of oxygen in the air surrounding it. In the second part of the experiment, you increase the concentration of oxygen in the air. That increased the speed at which the fire burned. This was Robbie Myers of Physical Science.